In this video, I will show you how to put a 3D object in the video and interact with an object in the video. Exactly, it's like a trick. You first bring the video into Blender by assigning it to the camera background. Almost the same way as adding a photo to the background of a video. When you do this far, the video will only show up in the viewport. You need a few more steps. Note that the parameters in the scale node must be the same as in the camera's background image so that the rendered image is the same as in the viewport. You should now be able to render the image in the video. Now I will adjust the angle of the camera so that the XY plane is similar to the road surface in the video. The trick is to align the X axis with the inner margin of the pavement. The Y axis coincides with the groove of the bricks. When the adjustment is complete, turn off camera to view. I will place a plane lying on the road surface, i.e. the plane lying in the XY plane. Adjust this plane to cover the road surface. Create a sphere to interact with the oncoming vehicle. The purpose of the plane is to catch the shadow of the sphere to give the impression that the sphere is casting a shadow on the pavement. This function is only available in cycles. I made the car appear to based on the car's shadow on the road, adjust the shadow of the sphere to match. Next I created the physical properties for the plane and the sphere. The sphere is a pressurized cloth, the plane has a collison to support the sphere. To make the sphere appear to be affected by the car, I created an object with a collison which is roughly the same shape as the car's nose and moves like the car. Set to linear for even motion. Looks good, you can adjust the speed and shape of the cube to be more precise and perfect. Now it's just a matter of beautifying the sphere. 
Exactly this is a tip, hope it helps you guys. Thank you for watching. Goodbye and see you in my next video.